Hello YouTube world and today we've just got a little something for Galactus with a little bit of silver something produced by the Royal Mint which is a, a coin company in the UK or a company that produces the currency of the UK and coinage and collectibles and it's actually a collectible from the year 2001 and it's with a company called Imperial Tobacco if, you, if any guys out there know about the tobacco scene this is a company that produces many different types of cigars and cigarettes. And what we're going to do is just take a closer look at what the box contains and just a bit of commentary as well just to explain to you guys what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to be back in a sec when I open the box. There we go. Hi guys, this is the contents of the box. As you can see here on the left hand side, we've got a nice blue typical Wedgwood box here which contains a product from Wedgwood and on the right we've got a lovely case here from the Royal Mint let's just go inside and have a look and see what these boxes contain we're going to start with wow well, my channel's called Silversmith so this is a product from the Royal Mint let's just open this up for you guys there we go so inside here we can see a lovely round as they're called it's just it's from the Royal Mint, if I can get it out. And there we go. Let me show both sides up for you guys. This is one side. And it says Imperial Tobacco Centenary. And on the other side, it's got the logo, various logos. I'm not actually sure what logo that is, but it actually tells the name of the company there, which I'm assuming that's what it is. The Imperial Mints. The Imperial Tobacco Company's logo. I'm going to try and open it for you guys. I don't really like to open sort of more collectibles, but as I'm wearing gloves, <laughs> I will. There we go. And I love the cases that Royal Mint give you. The screw-on cases are just, just so well made. And here we go. Here's, here's the actual round, the actual piece here. Collectible, or metal. I probably should call it a metal. Here we go. That's a lovely piece there. The piece weighs about 28 and a half grams of sterling silver, which is 925 parts out of a thousand. And that's the logo on the back, which is really nice. It's a, it's a really nice, thick metal here, made out of sterling silver, which I, I, I do love. Again, some people call sort of 90% uh, 925 junk silver. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, stick to them kind of kind of sayings there but again in, in the UK we talk about the family silver and you know don't sell the family silver as a saying most of the time the family silver used to be 925 cutlery uh, trays various sort of dinnerware and that was 925 but again this one is a box with the the medal and it's got a nice little card explaining and a certificate for authenticity sorry explaining what the coin is and where it comes from but it's really well put together here there we go and right next to it is its partner in crime it's the other half of the of the box with the lovely sky blue almost Wedgwood logo there and if you guys know about collectibles and I'm sure you've heard of Wedgwood before these guys make lots of things plates Dining wear, porcelain. Oops, let's close the jar there. Here we go. This, this is the other side. And again, it's a, it's a little plate with imperial tobacco on it, with the centenary there from 2001, so 14 years ago. And on the back, it's got the Wedgwood logo and the imperial tobacco logo. So it's just a nice collectible, and the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I, I picked this up for about £15, which is about $22. The silver in, inside the coin is it's about probably $15, maybe $12 worth of silver in melt. But when you consider the Wedgwood plate, the whole setting, the box, the collectible side of it, you, you can't really go wrong. 
I mean, if you just want to get into the whole collectible side and get a bit of precious metals in there as well, it's a fantastic way. I got this um, on an auction site, and when I saw the price, I thought I'd, I'll definitely jump in and try and have a bit of that, as we say in London. And I mean, it was fantastic. So you've got your silver, you've got a nice little collectible plate here, and I mean, when you're spending fifteen pounds or twenty-two dollars, you're not. It's not a big risk. It's something nice to have. It's something to add to your collection. It's something to leave to your kids. Again, it's a family silver. It's something to collect and put away. You know, it's not going to make you, you know, rich, but it's it's something nice to have. I'll just show you guys. Just tilt the screen up just a little, and it sort of shows you guys the little logo. And I'll read it for you because my phone won't focus. It says Imperial Tobacco was formed on the 10th of December 1901. This presentation box contains a specially commissioned Wedgwood dish and a commemorative medal from the Royal Mint to celebrate the 100th anniversary. And there we go. This was £15 or $22. And again, it contains, I think, 29 grams of sterling soil, which is 92.5%. So again, it's just a nice little collectible, guys. Something to add to the family silver. A bit of wealth for you and your children and grandchildren. And it's, it, it's fun. It's something to look at. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, put, add some comments, let me know what you think, whether you think collectibles are any any good or something nice to add to your collection, or if you prefer just bullion. Again, for me, I think the price, it, it was it was a win-win situation, so I, I, I took up on it and thought I'd, I'd have, a, have a bit of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers!